Finkel and welcome to Angling Info. Hi my name's Ben and welcome to Tackle Time. Today um, I'm just going to talk about tench fishing. I know it's not the season or the time really to go tench fishing but I've, um, I've had a request to uh, have a quick chat um, and run through my kind of tactics, what I do for tench fishing and um, give a bit of information so thanks for that request um, and hopefully this uh, video will, will help you out. Tench fishing, it, tench is my favourite fish by far, absolutely by far. Um, the best time to catch them is late spring and summer time. You can catch them through winter, not as easy to catch. The best times to catch them, dawn. Dawn or dusk, they're the best times. They, they, they do feed through the day, don't get me wrong. But if you get up there early in the six o'clock and it's in summer and the mists just leaving the water, that's the perfect time. Tench absolutely love that. Um, I'm, I'm unlucky really because around where I live there's not many venues that are tench orientated. They're either full of silvers or full of carp. So getting, I have to travel to get to a tench lake um, and I don't get to do it as much as I'd like to. So tench love cover. So reeds, lily pads, anything like that features. If you know there's tench in that particular pond, that, that's where they're going to be. Um, most of the time, they feed on the bottom. So when I set a rig up, usually with pole or waggler, I, I tend to try and fish over depth. Because I like quite a static bait with tench. So they can, can be quite shy biters. So there is a couple of waggle floats that I would, I would use. If I'm fishing a slight, slight bit of distance, I've got a loaded um, crystal waggler there. So one of the, it's a bit taller, so it can get a bit more distance, a bit, a bit more heavily weighted. I've got an, an equally a smaller version of that, um, again with a thin tip sensitive. Or I've got like what I call like a margin waggler, um, again loaded but shorter, fatter, and, and a stubby tip that you can really shot down. And they, they would be my three types of waggler because they can be quite cautious, can um, can tench. So all, all of those being crystal means that it makes it much more difficult for the fish to detect your bait. Also, when it comes to the shot and the shotting pattern, the way I'd shot it, I'd have it, I'd have a strung out bulk um, within at least an inch and a half between each shot. And then going down to your hook link, I would tend to a powerful fish, so don't underestimate it. You know, especially near snags, you want five or six pound line, three and a half to four pound bottom minimum, really, if you've got in for any different any, any kind of tench, but you need to make sure that you, you've got that slight over depth. You plumb around and make sure that there's no snags underneath the water, there's a flat bottom, and then you need to look at your baits. The baits, the classic bait, is sweet corn, tench of sweet corn. Some, some venues you can just feed sweet corn and fish sweet corn on the hook, either single or double, and that'll catch all day. Sometimes you need to vary things, so worm, lobworm, you know, they're perfect worm, bloodworm, anything like that. Castor, maggots to an extent, but castor, worm, and corn are, are the three best baits. You can catch them on bread in the winter, on canals and punch, and you can catch them on maggots in the winter, or, or even in summer, but the three core baits, even meat, you can catch them on. But the three core baits are sweet corn, worm, and castor. Right, they are the best. Um, I don't tend to fish put ground bait down either for tench. I'd rather fish hemp as as more of an attractive. Keeps fish down to the bottom and keeps them grubbing around. You can always t tell when tench are in your, your papers. You get fizzing and bubbles and things around you. You know, around the around the area that you're fishing. And it's always good to cast slightly over that and just wind gently just to bring it in and it'll float in naturally especially with that strong bulk it'll, it'll sink naturally or if you're fishing the pole just put your feet in and just gently lay your rig in not not just straight down like you know gently gradually into your into your uh, into your peg um obviously it's um it, it can be frustrating at times because all those baits will catch a lot of other fish so yeah, to, to target specific fish, yes, you're fishing with the baits, but you still, you stream, roach, 
you know, all those kind of fish and, and carp and, and if there's chub in there, they all love those baits as well. So if you if you're going to go for them it's better to think of fishing an area where is cover and the time of day that you're going to target them. Early mornings and late afternoons, they're the best targets. So you could fish maybe for other fish whilst you, you, you leave that line till later on in the afternoon. And the other attack is a video that I'm hopefully going to get filmed this week and, uh, and put up on the weekend is um, cage feeder fishing. Um, it's an old fashioned uh, method compared to new standards because method feeder has taken over everything usually with ground bait. But it's a method that I love to fish. And it's just fishing um, an open ended cage feeder, either circular or square or you know, or, or a plastic version of that. And we're gonna uh, on a semi fixed rig, we're gonna fit, fish that, and hopefully you know we'll we'll do well with that. But that's also a method that you can you can fish for um, for tench with it being quite static. Um, like I said, they will take round bait, but the way I'm gonna fish it, I'm gonna put quite a lot of particles in there. So you know, it, it's also can be a good bait, you know, for tench, especially in the summer when they're feeding more. They tend to go for that kind of bait. But you know, like I say, they can be frustrating fish to catch tench unless you know a specific water where you know there's lots of tench in there. It's best to stick to the, the three core baits and the times, and just think to yourself: times of day, cover, and bait. They're the three things you need to think about, and then obviously on top of that, start to think about your rig and and how you're going to present your baits. Presentations important when tench fishing. They do like a static bait they don't like to take things on the drop usually it's usually likes to be on the bottom like i say slightly over depth but that's where your good plumbing in comes in to find that flat spot so there's no reeds or, or underwater obstruction that's going to stop you from um getting snagged up so i mean any more people that want to ask any for any more tips obviously when it gets into late spring summertime I will try my best to, to, to get away from uh, the commercials and get towards some tench fishing um, I'm hopefully going to get some video, good videos done through the winter um, so obviously <clears throat> if we, we can get on the tench that would be a good video to, to shoot like I say I have to do a bit of travelling to get to anywhere with a decent tench um, but hope that information's uh, helped you and uh, send me some picture, pictures especially if you, if you catch a nice bag of tench um, I, I always love to see pictures and I can put them up on uh, the Instagram which is angling uh, underscore info on, uh, on Instagram and we can post some pictures that anybody sends through um, up on there so that's, that'd be brilliant so thanks a lot, tight lines